What's up everyone, Press Reset Earth here. So today I'm going to talk about the Flat Earth Theory. Yes, it's been gaining uh, popularity and a lot of momentum the past six months or so. Uh, and a lot of people are buying into this. And um, look, I've looked into the Flat Earth Theory. There's different models. Um, but I've also looked into the other side of it, the more conventional globe theory, and that seems to make the most sense to me. And no, I'm not going to show you the fake CGI NASA photos. No, I'm not going to, you know, cite NASA in any way, shape, or form, or even any of these major institutions that uh, are trying to control the scientific progress of humanity. Instead, these are things that you can actually test on your own in many cases. And also, a lot of this is also just sort of common sense knowledge. Uh, that, you know, it is something that you can measure quite often on your own once again. Now, the first little scientific proof I want to get into here is the fact that the moon actually is inverted depending on which hemisphere of the Earth you're on. So if you're in the southern hemisphere as compared to the northern hemisphere, the moon is going to appear differently because it, you're looking at it from two different angles. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, because the Earth is indeed a globe. This wouldn't work in a flat Earth uh, model. There is no way to explain this in the flat Earth model. And this isn't something that you need to consult NASA to test for yourself. In fact, we have global communication now, and these, this is something that we can actually test. Uh, you know, if somebody in the southern hemisphere was talking or video chatting with somebody in the northern hemisphere, they could actually look at the moon at the same time and test this, okay? This is irrefutable proof that we are on a globe structure looking at the moon. Now, another thing that we can do to indeed at least logically assume that we're on a globe structure is to just go out, buy yourself a telescope. Uh, any amateur astronomer can do this. Uh, and just look at the, the planets, okay? And you can see that they are indeed spherical and... Some of them even have moons orbiting them. And you can see this with your own eyes in a telescope, in a halfway decent telescope that you can buy online uh, for, you know, a couple thousand bucks or something. We could even look at the moon and the moon cycles, which is caused by uh, light from the sun reflecting off uh, the spherical object of the moon. And you can test this yourself with a golf ball shining, shining in a light and you can see that this is indeed a sphere you're looking at when it comes to the moon. And, you know, a lot of the flat earthers will say it's a disk. And you can disprove that by placing a disk in a light as well. And, you know, you can't get those same curved shadows that you see on the moon. Now, all that being said, simple logic uh, <laughs> allows us to assume that if everything else, if all the other planets, which also have moons, if everything else in the sky is a sphere, why wouldn't the earth be? I mean, it's totally illogical. How does that make any sense? It doesn't, folks. Now, another thing we need to take into consideration is the Coriolis effect. This indeed proves that we are on a spinning structure. And there is no debating this because snipers, for instance, and you can ask any sniper in the military, you don't have to go to a you know NASA website to figure this one out. They have to take into account the Coriolis effect. When doing, um, when engaging in a long distance sniper shot, okay? And if they don't, they miss, okay? And this is 100% not debatable. And I even personally know guys that were in the Marines that can tell you that this is indeed a fact, all right? The, the Coriolis effect, you have to take it into consideration. And this is also why we see hurricanes uh, and storm systems spinning in two different directions on each side of the, hem of the globe of the, uh, each hemisphere of the globe. Um, and this is why snipers have to take into consideration the location they are on the planet when uh, 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 factoring in the Coriolis effect because it's different on, you know, uh, different ends of the planet. Next, let's talk about this theory that you can't see curvature, okay? Um, <laughs> the flat earthers will always say you can never see curvature. This proves that the earth is flat. Actually, it just proves how small we are in comparison to the Earth. It actually, it can be compared to a bacteria uh, uh, existing on a 40 meter diameter boulder, okay? Now, from the perspective, from the visual perspective of that bacteria, it may appear that you're on a flat surface because 
the curvature is so insignificant uh, from your perspective, it may indeed appear flat, okay? And, and even that, as a piece of evidence in the first place, is completely rendered inert because depending on where you are on the planet, there is actually... Uh, certain instances where you would see a concave if you were in a large, large valley, valley compared to if you're looking at a very subtle hill in the distance. Uh, it may appear to be curved even on a flat earth. So how does that even make any sense to cite that as any kind of evidence in the first place? And you know, I'll also hear a lot of these flat earthers uh, bring up the fact that even when you shoot a rocket into the air and film it, that you can't see curvature. Well, that's because the atmosphere goes up so very little compared to the uh, gigantic nature of the globe that even if you, you were a bacteria and you raise a millimeter off that 40 meter boulder, well, it's still going to appear the same. You're not going to see much curvature in that case either. So that's what you're seeing there, even if you don't uh, apparently see curvature. You know, it's something that, that truly amazes me, this whole flat earth phenomenon uh, that, that's blowing up this theory that's just exploded in the alternative research community because a lot of these researchers cite no they don't cite anybody with a background in meteor in meteorology or physics or mechanical engineering or anything like that um, and you know you don't have to be an employee of NASA you don't have to be uh, you know working for the new world order to prove disprove these theories as a mechanical engineer or as a physicist or as a meteorologist okay these are common sense things look just because NASA lies doesn't mean we have to throw out all logic all knowledge all scientific uh, trains of thought this is a de-evolution okay flat earth and here's the thing I think it's a very very sinister government COINTELPRO operation. I really do. Because they want to devolve our our uh, progress, our human progress, our knowledge, right? Um, along with basically trying to demonize us. That's one of the agendas as well. I was reading an article the other day that actually compared flat earthers to climate change skeptics. Um, this is what they're going to be preparing to roll out, okay? We've already been seeing the climate change propaganda, uh, you know, ramp being ramped up the past uh, six months or so, and it just so happens to coincide with this flat earth theory exploding. And of course, so many of the flat earthers are indeed climate change skeptics as well. So it makes it very easy for the mainstream media to associate one with the other, therefore decrediting uh, the uh, climate change skeptics. And <laughs> folks, the earth isn't flat, okay? <laughs> the earth is a globe all right like we need to like understand that not every single thing you've ever been taught is a lie so much of it is when it comes to socioeconomic uh you know perspectives and when it comes to a lot of this um brainwashing in in certain uh you know aspects of the new world order like m the medical industry i mean the finance industry hollywood entertainment industry all this right uh, very, very controlled, of course, but over the years, even amateur um, scientists, amateur engineers, amateur astronomers have been able to progress humanity, okay? Uh, this is something that is, you know, it's like a, a, a complete lack uh, of faith in humanity, this flat earth thing, as if, give me a break, okay? Give us a little more credit as human, as human beings, you know? I mean, I could go on forever disproving this. I really could. I could keep going and going and going. Um, but I'll just leave some links in the description below further proving what I'm saying here, okay? Uh, and, you know, that's it. And we, this is something we need to speak out uh, against because I, I'm seeing people I genuinely respect starting to buy into this. And it's very easily disprovable. See, what the, the thing is, people don't try to see um, what actually debunks the flat earth they just look into flat earth it kind of makes sense so they buy into it. it and they don't see what uh other alternative information there is to debunk it once you look into both theories the globe earth and the flat earth it's very obvious that uh well the earth is a globe what, what can i say so let me know what you guys think it's been press reset keep your head up peace